Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Daft OP Destiny episode number 11. Okay, in the previous episode, um, we lost uh, one of the big, like a big, big characters, uh, Lenny. He was, I'm, I at least I thought he was like one of the main characters, you know, because you know, with him in the opening songs, in the trailer as well, even in the uh, like you know the poster, the anime poster, we had him and Titan. So I thought like you know we when before we started this show, I thought he was going to be like proud of the crew, one of the main characters, all that stuff. But we got to uh, like slowly, slowly understand that you know the part of the main crew was uh, like uh, Takt, uh, Destiny, and Anna. These three are the part of the main crew, the main main characters. While uh, <clears throat> Lenny and Titan was kind of like main supporting characters, you can say. So yeah, we lost Lenny in the previous episode. It was we got a little backstory of how Lenny knew uh, Takt's uh, dad and you know their relationship how he felt about tucked and all that stuff and how he sacrificed not sacrificed but you know like uh fought till the end to protect that <coughs> and uh, yeah it was sad it was sad seeing the last especially the last scene where we see both uh asahina kenji and lenny both you know going into the afterlife after like you know after uh <coughs> Lenny did a little, uh, you know, performance with uh, Takt. He goes away into and crosses the door and goes to the afterlife with his dad. That was sad. And I'm not sure what's going to happen to um, Titan after this. We'll have to wait because obviously she cannot go back to Symphonica. I doubt she's going to go back there. So what's she going to do now? And obviously the whole thing with Sagan, heaven, hell, all that stuff, you know, a lot of things are going on. Tuck's also kind of suffering from overusage of his power. Like, it's a mess. Complete mess. So, I'm wondering what they're going to do, how they're going to conclude it. Because I think this anime will probably have 12 or 13 episodes. So, I, it's probably will be 2 or 3 more episodes after this. So, who knows. I, it, it, it's pretty much in a bad like, you know, position now. So, I'm not sure how they're going to like, you know, continue this and turn this. And who knows, maybe they'll like keep this as a cliffhang cliffhanger. They're going to end this as a cliffhanger and uh, it'll continue in the game or something. I'm not sure, but yeah. Anyways, let's get started. This is episode number 11. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the time I hear, sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Suspend animation. Oh. Oh my God. <clears throat> oh. Okay, I was not expecting that. <coughs> yeah, it is pretty bad. And <clears throat> yeah, and if Dr. dies, Destiny will also die in a few moments. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Whoa, what is this place? Oh boy, this guy. Oh my, whoa! What? This guy's crazy. Yeah. What is happening? He's destroying his own place. What the?
Oh, wait. Oh, these are. Oh, my God. Oh, my. This is ridiculous. What is like? Oh, my God. Did he die? <laughs> I saw him stab his hand. <laughs> then, then those things popped out. It wouldn't surprise me if he died at that. Like you know, like, but I doubt he's dead. <laughs> God, what? Like, what was that? Okay, the whole thing with cryogenic sleep. Um, I have to say, I think that's the best way I can think the way of counteracting this whole situation and Lotte is correct this is probably the only way like both Takt and Destiny needs to be alive for both of them to be alive like since both of them are codependent on each other in a way and like I don't know Orpheus preparing for battle. My god, his face, it's half of it is gone completely. Oh. Yeah. Great. Well, obviously, because... <laughs> Wait... <laughs> oh my god... Okay... <laughs> big sister... What? Big sisters? Big sister? Uh, you're talking about... Oh! Anna and Lotte! Okay, both of them. Oh no! Oh yeah, they were there! Oh god, I forgot! They were talking over there. So I'm guessing all the people are trapped or something here? Like what's happening? Oh, these are the music arts. Okay. I love the character designs of the music arts. Like this is really unique. One of the best things that this show has done is the character designs. It's, it's phenomenal. Oh my god. Oh, this is a mess. Oh god. <clears throat> what? Okay, good there. Okay, Titan, I doubt she'll be able to fight properly because she doesn't have a conductor. Hmm. 
Yeah. It's impossible because I don't think so. Like he has both heaven and hell with him. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh great. Here we go. Yep, there are D2s here as well. Great. Oh yeah, the wheelchair kind of makes a noise. Like, it'll be more... Up. Oh no, it it is it behind them? <clears throat> okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yep. <laughs> what? Nah, these are not popcorn. <laughs> She's ate all of those? <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh my god, this is going to take a lot out of him. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. Oh no, what happened? Oh no. Oh no, run! Run! Okay. Oh, Valkyrie is here! There you go. Oh. Oh, oh, oh yeah, they- wait, and yeah, they do know each other. Oh, four to five minutes. 
Ah, he doesn't have any feelings in his hand anymore. Ugh. Oh, my God. Oh my god, that scared me. Oh boy, these things are strong. And Valkyrie obviously doesn't have a conductor. <laughs> oh! Um, okay. Okay, there you go. They're here. Ugh. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. I think I've said this before, but I think Duct is probably going to be the one who makes multiple contracts in the future. Because the game... It's a gacha game and that's how it's supposed to go in the game. So I'm guessing they kind of, you know, like setting the stage for that. I'm not sure, but let's see. <clears throat> Damn, <laughs> he jumped from that. Oh yeah, his uh, physical condition is uh, stronger since he's connected with Destiny. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, you, you knocked her out. Now it's okay. <laughs> the D2 school come. You. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what's he planning? Is he planning to confront Sagan? I think so. No. Okay.
Hmm. Yeah, you need to stop this before he even. The whole. Oh my god. Whoa, I was not expecting that. <laughs> What? Wow, I was not expecting that. That was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the main boss is waiting ahead. I'm guessing we have to fight heaven and hell again. Oh God. What? Oh no, I feel like... Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah... Uh, I'm guessing Sagan is here somewhere, where is he? Wait, what happened to heaven? What? What? She's just sleeping? What's happening? I... S I still don't know what their actual plan is. Like, why are they doing this? Whoa, what? What the? What is happening here? Oh wait, are they part of the same? Oh, this is one heaven and hell. They're part of one music art, I think. Orpheus. Whoa, that came out of the blue. What the hell? Like. Or feel like heaven and hell both part of the same music art I'm guessing. I don't know what happened to Sagan if he's even here or not. Like who knows? Like he he kind of stabbed his hand in that that thing and then after that they didn't even show him and then we are seeing heaven and hell like this. 
Okay, so by the way, I'm guessing the next episode will be the final one. That's probably how this is going to go. All right. <clears throat> okay so i think that's the end yep so okay so here um first of all i i'm going to now explain how i think this is going to end the whole thing like i knew like they're going to do some kind of a way to actually prolong this because it wouldn't be uh, uh, i defeated the like you know main bad guy everyone lives happily ever after this won't be that story because this has a game that's going to come out after this so they're basically this anime is basically like you know preparing the stage for the game and as far as i could understand how this is going to go they are somehow going to prolong uh Takt and uh destiny's life somehow they're going to keep them alive and this episode kind of answers that question what they're probably planning to do um cold sleep or cryogenic uh sleep they are going to do that i'm guessing or maybe some other way now the way i thought i like i thought they were going to do it in some other way like as i said this is going to become a gacha game in the future this like and this is like a prequel i'm guessing as far as the way the things are going and the way the gacha game has been like you know has some videos on youtube where we see that has contract like is going to obviously make contract with a few music arts uh, quite a few music arts like that's how gacha games go you know like you're the main character you pull characters from the gacha who you get and they're like contracted with you in a way some way or the other like it's like a um, like you know character collecting game that type of a thing that's a gacha game based on luck so <clears throat> like that's how it like i'm guessing the game is going to go so i'm guessing they're kind of trying to make it like you know kind of uh, make a stage as to how preparing a stage as to how that's going to happen so f before this i thought they're probably going to do go in this way i thought they're going to probably in the end they're going to say like oh since destiny is like you know like uh, consuming uh Tuck's life force if he makes contract with other valkyries as well uh, not valkyries sorry <laughs> other music arts as well they are going to like you know like i don't know like probably going to negate the whole life force like you know consumption thing or something's going to happen and they're going to probably go in that direction but turns out it won't go in that direction it's probably going to go in some other direction they are i'm guessing they're planning to somehow like you know put them into cold sleep both dark and destiny and lotte will be like you know trying to do like you know like bring him out of the threat that he has and the whole life consumption thing i'm sure she'll try she'll try to like you know stop that while they are in cold sleep and then when they like you know awaken everything will be as are going to be okay and this episode also kind of i don't know like proves my way of thinking as what they're going to do is later on not in this anime but later on in the game they're probably going to make it as if Tuck can make multiple contracts with multiple music arts and fight using them and you know like it'll be something like that because here in this episode we can see Tuck giving uh instructions to like you know so many music arts at the same time which really shows that she's cap he's capable enough to actually like you know strategize and fight like this so that's like the i think the biggest hint that we got in this episode which is probably going to go like, you know make in the like in the game it's going to go in that direction as to yeah Tuck can make multiple contracts or he can command multiple music arts and that's why the gacha game the gacha aspect comes you can pull for different characters they'll like you know like they'll be contracted with you all that stuff so i'm guessing this is how this is completely going to go the next episode will probably have to fight orpheus and hopefully defeat her or something is going to happen and i'm guessing we're, the whole like you know 
the story is going to come to an end they're going to end in a cliffhanger or in a way that they're going to show like oh like this happened now tucked and destiny are okay and lotte is trying to find out some cure they're in cryogenic sleep something like that and that's i'm guessing when the anime will end then it'll continue from the game where i'm guessing in the game tuck will probably wake up destiny will also wake up and then like a new adventure is going to start like you know they're going to realize what has happened all this time while they were asleep maybe some new problems has popped up and then they'll have to like solve them and like you know a new adventure is going to start in the game i'm guessing that's how it's going to go and yeah like honestly speaking i'm happy they're not hopefully they don't kill any of the characters off like you know except lenny lenny just died like ugh, that's one thing but i'm i'm talking about tuck and destiny and hopefully the other characters as well i don't want any more deaths like you know one like you know one was uh, like you know uh, sad enough so i don't want any more any more dying so hopefully they end it in a good note like that's all that i'm wanting for them, from this like you know like i don't want any deaths anymore like <laughs> uh, like yeah enough Oh, if they try, <laughs> if they decide to kill Sagan, that's okay. <laughs> I have no problem with that. You, you can go ahead and do that. But I don't. We don't even know what's happened to Sagan after that whole scene. So yeah, like this guy. Like I, I still don't understand what the hell their plan is. Like what are they even trying to do? Like now heaven and hell both fused. We don't know where the hell Sagan is. And like. I have no idea what that actual plan is like the main antagonists the villains of any anime any show any story have like a particular goal which they eventually kind of reveal they have not revealed anything like that in this anime like i'm not even sure what they're actually what they're actually trying to do like what are we even fighting against we don't know so yeah that's the thing and and we can see that like you know like i'm guessing heaven and hell were like a part of the same music art or something they they like maybe they divided or something and now they've come back again something who knows but yeah all right this episode here as we can see like you know we got a future prospect a future uh way of what's going to happen so, uh a lot is probably going to uh cryogenic freeze uh Tuck and destiny and within that time she'll try to find some cure about this whole thing the d2s kind of start attacking you know like and sagan basically destroyed his whole place you know the main headquarters of music art is just gone <laughs> because of this probably because of some other plan he has and d2s are popping up it's a mess uh tucked and uh, titan and destiny they come here to help others valkyrie is here so like thank god that she came here at the perfect time that's why like you know they were able she was able to save lotte and Cosette, uh, lotte and anna and you know they pr protected them and that obviously is suffering from the the thing and he his 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 hand doesn't even respond i'm guessing now it's like numb completely and it's consuming him so yeah they they fight you know like and we see what's happening all that like nothing much happened now that i'm like you know seeing this at, uh, again nothing much happened oh we did see a quite a few music arts you know new music arts we saw and as i said i'm really impressed with the character designs of this show it's phenomenal like wow like all the different music arts have such amazing designs like like it's so colorful every music art has like a like you know de designated color scheme like um destiny has like red valkyrie has like a green and whitish type of a like you know color scheme titan has an orange color scheme um heaven has uh, a blue color scheme blue and white hell has like a uh, what what color scheme is hell i think it's a red or something no purple yeah it's a purple purple and blue kind of color scheme so i love the you know the, the different color schemes for different valkyries uh why i'm calling them valkyries um different uh, music arts I'm, I'm i'm always calling them valkyries because i play honkai impact and the, <laughs> like you know like the different girls there are called valkyries that's why i'm kind of mixing them all up because this anime also has someone called valkyrie i'm mixing that up 
<laughs> so yeah the music arts not felt <laughs> oh my god so yeah um okay so that was that and what else oh okay the main thing in this episode um i was not expecting anna to do that honestly speaking i thought this was going to go in the direction of uh tact and destiny you know like they're like the main hero and heroines and i thought this was going to go into maybe it will in the future but anna is probably like you know just has a one-sided uh like you know feelings for tact or who knows what that is but i was really not expecting that like that came out of the blue because all, all this time i really thought that she like you know uh, like you know was affectionate towards tact in a complete familial type of a way you know like like an elder sister i that came completely out of the blue like i have to say like you know like a lot of animes and everything i'm able to kind of gauge the different people's the way they feel about different characters and all that stuff even though they don't show it you know like it's pretty easy to gauge them nowadays but there are a few animes where you had to actually like you know you wouldn't even realize that oh this person likes this person that thing and all the time i have to say like i kind of i am able to understand what people feel what different characters feel about each other even though the anime does not show in itself i kind of am able to gauge them and guess them this came out of the blue i had no idea something like this was happening like you know like all this time up until that whole scene i i thought like anna really looked at that in a more you know like what can i say um sisterly type of a bond in a, or a you know sisterly love in a way i thought that was what she felt that came out of the blue completely and i was like whoa what what's happening <laughs> i was not expecting that i think i probably like you know uh, focus too much on destiny because you know like the whole story is kind of focusing on destiny and tax so i thought like you know like the way destiny is in, like you know her she's gaining human emotions and everything my whole focus was on destiny and i was like okay maybe destiny later on will really come to love tax in a more romantic way but not this like this i i was not expecting like that was sudden i i i was surprised myself and i usually don't get surprised in a lot of things because i'm able to as i said able to gauge these type of things way before then it, they show it in the anime this genuinely surprised me i was like what's happening <laughs> and yeah like okay i guess <laughs> and then um you know destiny is kind of like was kind of saying that thing <laughs> where they were going and yeah and then we see the shocking scene of heaven and hell kind of fusing together that that thing kind of pierces their heart and they fuse together and in comes orpheus now i have to say i feel like i've heard the name orpheus somewhere before i don't know where let me check orpheus oh orpheus was a musician poet and a prophet in greek mythology dispensed with the king of thrace oikos and muse calliope he was considered to be the best musician and poet of all and perfected the lyre it was the god apollo who taught orpheus how to play the lyre when he was an adolescent okay that's what i've heard his no, name orpheus yeah okay so like as we can see you know like we can we can see this like everything in this uh, most of the things in this anime is kind of related to music especially piano so like you know the different music arts like their name is related to the different scores and everything musical compositions all that stuff so yeah like so orpheus is like the greek musician and uh, yeah now as i said a few things kind of completely caught me by surprise number one was that anna scene number 2 was orpheus suddenly like you know this character suddenly a new character popping up that is orpheus i thought we were going to have like a fight with heaven and hell and zion will be there all that stuff i was thinking but it looks like it's something else is going to happen here like now like suddenly like a, a new character has popped up we don't even know where sagan is maybe he's dead um who knows but yeah this this is a problem and i'm guessing this will be like the final fight next episode hopefully everything went, went goes well just like how anna said even if they are completely battered down i really hope destiny is able to bring tak back so that you know like they can look at him and like you know start healing him <clears throat> and lotte can start with her cryogenic 
freeze the thing that she's going to do with uh, duct so yeah and uh, like as i said like i think this will probably have a happy ending kind of a happy ending more as a like cliffhanger sort of thing like oh everything's okay but you know they're in sleep so we don't know what's going to happen the end is probably going to go in this way and then it is going to resume in the game so i really hope that's how this is going to go and uh, yeah no more deaths please so <laughs> yeah that's just what i want now i i don't know like i as i like you know we still don't have any uh, release date of the game tucked op um it's probably obviously going to come first come out in japan and, like you know it probably won't have a global version i'm not sure but if it does have a global version i do plan on checking it out in the future uh because you know like i do play ga i play gacha games gacha games is like one of the integral parts of <laughs> me like you know like i play a lot of gacha games so seeing that this is like another new gacha game that's going to come out i'm surely going to check this out because i mean like i play a lot of gacha games like, like it's insane how many i play so <laughs> like obviously i don't play all but i kind of like you know kind of check them out and then like you know abandon them the things that i really like i kind of, I kind of keep going on them uh, for example honkai impact freight grand order i still keep playing these genshin impact kind of i play and um no oh, revived witch these are the few games i'm playing currently so that's how like you know that's why if this comes out and since i've watched the anime i'm really looking forward to the game i really hope they make an english global release uh because obviously if it's only japanese release like i'm sure they'll make a global release like otherwise why would they even make an anime out of it you know this is more in the global market this anime and the global market and the japanese market as well so i'm sure they're going to make a global version probably in the future probably is going to come out a little late than the japanese version comes out so when it's going to come out i'm planning on checking this out because yeah because as i said like i i love the character designs these are such beautiful character designs i really love them and uh, yeah the story is pretty nice as well and i'm looking forward to how this is going to end so that's it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to tucked op destiny episode number 11 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of tucked op destiny until then goodbye and have a nice day